You know what this reminds me of? What's my... There is this cool new book out called The Pumpkin Kid. Oui. And it's written by Barry Brown and Jeff LaGreca. Let's take a look. Yeah. The Pumpkin Kid by Barry Brown and Jeff LaGreca. The last day of harvest marked the end of the year. Sunlight seemed to scurry away. The shadows of autumn loomed. The villagers hurried to shelter themselves into their homes, making every effort to protect against the coming darkness and time-worn superstitions. The pumpkin kid pushed his cart through the village streets. He had plans for the misshapen pumpkins he was hauling. No one wanted them after the final farmer's market. He came upon the tailor's store. What are you doing with those useless pumpkins? The tailor grumbled. He clutched his arms, shivering, and leered over his shoulder. Oh, these, said the pumpkin kid. If you lend me a pin, I will show you something stunning. Pheh, my pins are for hard work only, he spat. During this dark autumn, there is no time for foolish distractions. Just then, the raw wind kicked up and rippled through their bones. The skinny man gestured. This crooked old hat pin is rubbish, but when I see you next, I expect you to keep your word. The pumpkin kid grinned at the haggard man. Thank you, sir. When I return, I hope to perk up your store. He continued on his way past the woodcarver's shop. The woodcarver toiled at her workbench, grimacing and growling. Ah, oh, you frightened me, she said. Who do you think you are sneaking about? What are you doing with those odd pumpkins? If you supply me a spoon, said the pumpkin kid, these orange beauties and I will show you something surprising. My wooden spoons are for customers, she snorted. How can you bother with such worthless pursuits? The last rays of sunlight cut through the dark clouds at that very moment, dragging shadows across the landscape. The hardened woman shrugged. Take this old spoon, and when I see you next, I expect you to fulfill your bargain. The pumpkin kid nodded to the tired, withered woman. Thank you, ma'am. When I return, I hope to brighten your shop. Off the boy went until he came to the blacksmith's forge. Why are you loafing about, grunted the blacksmith. And what are these good-for-nothing pumpkins? What happens next? Don't worry, it turns out okay. You can find out more by reading The Pumpkin Kid by Barry Brown and Jeff LaGreca. <laughs>